pampatheres, like the enormous Holmesina, were close relatives of armadillos. Like armadillos, pampatheres have big protective shells that are made of many small individual bones. These shell-forming bones are called osteoderms. They get that name because they grow in the dermis, or skin. Osteoderms aren't unique to armadillos and pampatheres. Many creatures, including crocodilians, some lizards, and armored dinosaurs, all evolved hides toughened by osteoderms. Also like armadillos, pampatheres had long spade-shaped claws. Armadillos make use of such claws to excavate burrows and to dig for the underground worms and insects that they eat. Did pampatheres also have a taste for subterranean invertebrates? Probably not. Wear patterns on pampatheer teeth and careful studies of their jaws indicate they were best suited for grazing on low-growing vegetation, not chowing down on bugs and grubs. So why the digging claws? Well, perhaps shells were not a pampatheer's only means of fortification. Pampatheers may have dug large dens to shelter in, just as modern aardvarks do. Or perhaps they just dug pits deep enough for them to safely hunker down in, keeping their underbellies protected and leaving only their armored shells exposed.